Dave in Washington. Hey, guys. Hey, you had a question for Aaron? Yeah. Um, well, first, Matt, I wanted to thank you for uh, you talking about Lost Christianities. Um, I just bought that book and started reading it here. Um, pretty interesting so far. But, um, yeah, for the for your guest here, Aaron. Um, Aaron. Aaron? Oh, apologies. Nobody says it right. It's all yeah. right. Um, I got it wrong. That's why I'm correcting everybody. I was wondering how, it, it, what, have you, what has been your experience on YouTube um, as far as intellectual, intellectual debates go? I wouldn't think that that would be a great source of uh, conversation. The, uh, I'm, I'm not sure I follow your question. I mean, you may want to paraphrase after you hear my answer. Um, as far as intellectual conversation, I take that to mean that once I've given my position in my videos, that I have other people that are uh, logging on into the discussion boards and they give me counter positions or maybe points to ponder or something like that. And, uh, and you're asking my feedback on the sort of intellectual discussions that follow on that? Is that the question? Yeah, that's a good paraphrase. Just kind of uh, how the comments have been uh, coming back. Yeah, okay. I mean, I read, I read YouTube comments and it's, it's garbage. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's my answer too. I mean, I, I did one video wherein I, I refused to uh, make anybody else famous uh, just for, you know, when somebody asks me a stupid question and I make a video to address that, and uh, now I've elevated that person's status, like what happened with the taxi driver uh, who became something of a stalker of mine for a bit. Um, what I did in the last video addressed to him was to put out a challenge uh, for theists to come up with somebody that they would say represents their beliefs and have that person, I don't care who it is, I just wanted to see a nomination and I want to see a number of people back that person so that we have a substantial voter block say this guy represents us and then have that person debate me in some uh, moderated format somewhere. Because until that happens and possibly even after that, I have yet to see an intellectual debate either in YouTube or on Talk.Origins or in uh, any live avenue anywhere ever. I don't think it's possible to have one. Yeah, and I get, we get email about this show from theists who say, who think that we're handpicking callers um, because, oh, well, I, I see the calls you guys take and those guys are stupid and they make the worst arguments and they, you know, why, you guys are afraid to debate the, the true, you know, intellectual powerhouses of, you know, creationism and Christianity and Islam and whatever else you want to toss in there. No, we're not. Uh, the only thing that we're screening against is crank calls and people who just want to call and say, hey, great show. Uh, I have an open invitation to debate Ray Comfort. I will not be anywhere no, near the have, light I, as no, 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 no. He doesn't do have an open invitation to debate Ray because <laughs> I have an open invitation to debate Ray. All right, well, we'll bring in Kirk Cameron and we'll have oh a two-man tag team. It, it would... It, it would take half of one of us to show up drunk. <laughs> um, as a minor point here, are the rumors of the Texas Board of Education true? Yes. Okay. I don't even have to wonder what the rumors are. It, yeah. I've, if I've if the rumors are negative, news. yeah. Yeah, I've heard Thomas Jefferson being thrown out. They're, they're rewriting. What they want to do is they want, to, uh, they want children to be taught that this was uh, that the United States was some sort of religious oasis. They want to throw out completely the point of this country. Uh, the United States may have been colonized by people who were re fleeing religious persecution in other countries, but when they got here, they persecuted each other in similar fashion. I mean, with early Protestants and Quakers and Puritans were all at war with each other, lopping off each other's ears, torturing each other in the streets. And what happened when the United States government began to be erected was they, they started looking at how in France in uh, recent history at that time you had Catholics hunting Protestants en masse by orders of the government and in England again you had Protestants hunting Catholics for the same reason it was an order a law of the land and so when they set up the United States it was supposed to be the world's first secular government it was supposed to preserve freedom of religion. And now many Christians will tell me that freedom of religion means freedom of Christian religion, but no it doesn't. Because I can point out that Mormons are 
a Christian religion. They are the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And in the United States, after the foundation of our government, we had a law passed. I don't remember if it was Illinois or if it was in Missouri, but it had federal marshals hunting down whole families of Mormons and shooting them in the streets. This is what the Founding Fathers expected would be happening if you didn't prevent the government from being intertwined with religion. Freedom of religion by necessity demands freedom from religion. It means putting the reins on religion and it means that the government cannot promote or endorse any one religion over any other and that's one of the things that the Board of Education wants to specifically exclude from the lesson plan. They don't want children to know that the government is prohibited from promoting Christianity over Islam or Hinduism or anything else. There's a member of the school board whose name escapes me at the moment who explicitly said just just recently that uh, the idea of church-state separation uh, is fictional and he's offered to donate a thousand dollars to the charity of your choice if you can find it in the Constitution and this is the sort of we talked about this a little bit yesterday so if you haven't listened to nonprofits you can go back I won't reiterate all of it it's a sort of word games that go on and, and as Russell pointed out uh, the word Trinity doesn't exist in the New Testament either it, it's it's a concept that has grown out of what was explicitly stated uh, in the First Amendment, that the government shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or preventing the free exercise thereof. Well, those words don't say church-state separation, but that's what they mean. And how do we know that that's what they mean? Because Thomas Jefferson, another person we're not allowed to discuss anymore, it would seem, clarified that point. He's the one that wrote that there should be a wall of separation between church and state. He, he specified this is exactly what he meant by that passage, so there, there can be no ambiguity here. And, he, and he's not alone. The, there are quotes from the other Founding Fathers, and Madison said that the only uh, valid, uh, uh, I'm going to get the quote wrong, but the only valid uh, interaction government should have with religion is in settling debutes, disputes of a legal nature between religions. Uh, it's, it, you know, even if Thomas Jefferson had never written uh, that quote about church day separation, this is the practical application of what the First Amendment must mean. It has to mean that because anything else renders it meaningless and moot. I put further clarification on this point in a video titled The Fifth Foundational Falsehood of Creationism. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Okay. Yeah, I hope uh, something can, I don't know what can be done, the ACLU with the ACA, uh, but hopefully something can be competed against this. I'd, I would like to see a revision of this plan wherein we, we take the least credible people possible and put them in, in these positions of power and then have their decisions irrevocable for a decade? That doesn't make any sense, especially when it indirectly affects the rest of the country because whatever decision some willfully ignorant dentist in Texas makes then establishes what the uh, educational criteria for children in Maine or Vermont or Washington have to endure. And I've been asked, I'll go ahead and let you go, Dave. Thanks a lot for the All call. Right,